Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's daily tarot love reading. Welcome to Love and Abundance Tarot. Today is Sunday, uh, October the 4th, and it's early afternoon Mountain Standard Time where I live in the world. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. It's a beautiful weekend. I thought I would come out here and sit down and connect with each of you. And, and I would put together a, a, a love reading for today. Uh, I'm just going to pull three cards. We're going to pull an energy for you, pull an energy for the other person, and then pull an energy on the relationship. And then I'm going to pull some clarifying energies to go along with this. So we're, we're going to pick up on the strong energies that are out there. You know, keep in mind this reading will not be for all of you, but it will be for many of you. And it's a relationship reading, so it can, it, it'll represent an energy in your life that's a strong energy, whether that's romantic, a love connection, a friendship, a work relationship, but it's representing a, an energy that, that's, that's playing a pretty strong influence in your life. So anyways, uh, I just, I finished up all of the October tarot readings for the various zodiac signs, and I'm actually thinking about doing another October reading, this type of reading for each of the zodiac signs, where I would do a relationship reading right, for each of the zodiac signs. So anyways, if you're open to it, you know, if, if that's something that would sound interesting to you, let me know in the comments, because uh, those encourage me on, on the direction that I go, right? Be open to share any ideas that you may have. I love to welcome your ideas. I appreciate all the comments, the likes and the the, uh, the shares and the subscribes that uh, that you guys bring to the channel here. You, know, you guys bring some amazing energy. You fuel me, you inspire me, so thank you so much. Okay, let's get started. Um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna pull an activation energy for the reading. This is gonna serve as the uh, Power of Love activation energy towards the relationship. So let's see what the cards have to say for us here. You know, so just I'm going to share a little bit in terms of kind of what's been going on in my life. So I've been, I've been, you know, thinking of meditating quite a bit. I spend, I usually meditate every day and for whatever reason, energy is kind of directing me to learning and more about healing. So I've been watching a lot of programs and things on YouTube and then also movies and such, documentaries on different uh, healing modalities that are out there. And I'm not really exactly sure what that's all about, but I think I'm being led and guided towards understanding healing a lot better. So anyways, thank you for letting me share that with all of you. Let's pull our activation card. Okay, beautiful. So the energy taking us into the reading today comes to us as freedom. I don't have my glasses out here. I just realized that. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness, right? So it's all about being open. Uh, you are re releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Right? So when we allow ourselves to be open, right, we're, we're able to, to manifest, to bring things into our life, right? It creates that, that, that energy of freedom for us, right? So that we don't feel restricted right we don't like resistance we don't like restriction we like to feel open we like to feel connected so an emphasis on freedom you know of recognizing this energy within you because some of you may may have taken on some self-imposed energies right that may be feel, causing you to feel somewhat held down and restricted uh, it's about recognizing these energies right and then um, you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness, right? So it's all about being open. So very important for us in our relationships, right? To keep ourselves open. And the energy that comes to mind for me with that is the four of pentacles, right? She's clinging to these pentacles in this tree. They're holding her captive. You know, the pentacles represent the energy of the things that, the way we feel that things must be, that the way things must show up in our life, right? And when we when we put that kind of restriction, that kind of limitation on ourselves, it really holds us, it holds us captive. So this is about being open, right? So it's an important energy taking us into today's relationship love reading. 
Okay, let's pull some energies. So this first energy that I'm gonna pull right now is gonna represent your energy. The next energy is gonna represent their energy. And then the third energy is gonna represent the energy for the relationship. And keep in mind, right, these energies can be reversed, right? So you may be on their energy or they may be in your energy. You just have to listen, be open and honest with yourself about what's going on with you. And you'll know where your place is in this reading. All right, tell us more. Okay, so the, the energy showing up for you comes to us as refusing to see. So this is equivalent to the two of swords. You know, it can represent making a decision, making a choice, right? So there may be something in the dynamic of this relationship that you may be refusing to see or, or unable to see at this time. And it may be because you've created these restrictions, right? On the energies of the way things must be. Again, coming back to freedom, right? It's always important in any of our relationships to be able to maintain our own sense of independence, our own sense of freedom. And, you know, this is choice to be here in this relationship, right? I'm not, I, it's not an obligation, it's not a restriction. All right, let's pull an energy for them now. See what's going on in their world. And then we'll pull an energy overall for the relationship. So, beautiful energy that came out for them, we have manifest, right? So this is representing the energy of the magician. So it lets us know, right, that, that the other person, or it could be you, right, you're in a position to manifest. You know, the universe is blessing you with this energy right now. Um, you know, you're manifesting, you're creating. I'm gonna pull some clarifiers on this energy, but it's, it's about having the Midas touch. And what I mean by that is, your thoughts, your words, and your actions, right? They manifest strong for you. I just look at this energy, right? He's pulling these energies out of the trunk, right? And I feel like this trunk represents the person's life experience, right? So they're, they're, they're drawing upon all of their life experience, investing those energies, right, into creating, into manifesting. What exactly are they manifesting? We're not sure yet. Maybe they're manifesting a relationship. You know, but for some of you, there may be something that you're unable or refusing to see as it pertains to this manifestation. All right, let's pull one more energy for the relationship. Okay. Here we have choose your battles, right? So again, it comes down to a choice, right? Maybe it's a choice in terms of where we're gonna invest our energies. You know, what are we What are we looking at? Are we, are we choosing to keep ourselves open, right? Keep ourselves vulnerable, open to the possibilities, open to uncertainty, open to unpredictability, right? Or are we feeling restricted, right? Where we're feeling like things must show up and, 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 and become a certain way. At the end of the day, you know, it'll come down to a choice, right? Here we have this figure he's standing before three headstones. These are big headstones. So I feel like, you know, it's representing, this is a big choice, right? Big decision that's being made. And you know that before you make this decision, right? You wanna clear up and open yourself up to whatever this is that you're unable to see, that you're possibly refusing to see. I mean, the great thing is it pertains to this relationship. You know, we have the manifestation energy. So, you know, that's good positive movement, right? Going, going forward in the right direction, right? To create and to manifest. Let's pull some clarifiers on these energies. Uh, first energy I want to get some clarification on is refusing to see. Tell us about refusing to see. First energy we have is the chariot card. So we're looking at the energy of cancer. You may be a cancer, you may be connected to a cancer, maybe a cancer on the other end of this relationship. Tell us more about refusing to see. Okay. <coughs> a 
Okay, so the clarifiers that came out on refusing to see, and again, here's the energy. We have the Cancer card, which is the chariots, right? So this represents changes, right? Changes that are coming in. And these are changes that are connected to this Ace of Cups beginning, right? So when the chariot card shows up, right, it lets us know the changes are coming, right? They're in motion. And these changes, they, they take place when there's balance. We have balance being shown by the white horse and the black horse. They represent duality, the yin and the yang, masculine, feminine energies. It's the balance of these energies that pulls the chariot forward, that brings you changes. And these changes are connected to the Ace of Cups, which is, it's, this is a loving beginning, right? So some of you, either you or the other person, right? You may be in a position where you're just not feeling connected to the presence, to the present, where you're, you're able to see and to feel these changes coming in and to know, right, that these changes are taking you to a beautiful, loving beginning. Okay, well, great. I'm glad we got some clarification on that. Um, so, yeah, what does that mean at the end of the day? Is that there are changes that are happening in the dynamic of this relationship and either you or the other person may not really be aware and keen to seeing the changes that are taking place, right? That they're coming and it, and it points it out to us here in the reading that the changes are coming, they're en route. All right, tell us about manifest. Tell us about manifest. Okay, so here's the energy that we're getting clarification on, the magician energy. So in this case, it's representing the other person's energy. So here we see the strength, right? One of the strengths in the relationship of the two of you is showing itself here as the Three of Cups, right? Meaning at the end of the day, right, maybe you're lovers, you're romantically connected, but at the end of the day, you're just great friends, right? A meaningful friendship. And this friendship, what does it represent? Ten of Pentacles, right? So it represents abundance. This is the other person recognizing the abundance that's felt and experienced in this connection with you, right? In the connection of, you know, the friendship, the connection that the two of you share, whether it's romantic or it's friendship or it's a family relationship, it's meaningful, it's valuable, right? And I feel like this energy for the other person coming in as the magician, right? That they're manifesting, they're in the process right now of working and manifesting abundance that have everything to do with your, with your connection, with your relationship. And this may represent your energy as well. All right, tell us about choose your battles. Tell us about choose your battles. your battles okay we got two energies that came out this is again where we're getting clarification this is representing the energy right of the relationship moving forward a choice to make at the end of the day right and which is truly that's what it's all about is personal choice right two people making a choice get clarification on this energy right maybe right maybe what it is that you could be refusing to see right is maybe this 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 relationship and the coming together of this relationship, maybe it's taken time, right? And I say that because here we have the Knight of Pentacles, right? This is the slowest moving night, but it's the most reliable night, right? All night energy show up. So this night, I feel like he's on a destined path, right? That what, that's what makes him so slow and slower, so reliable, right? He may veer off the path, but he has a staff with him, right? To correct himself and keep himself back on the path but slowly moving towards what could be, right, a destined, uh, a destined connection, a destined relationship. And I feel like it's confirmed right here with the Temperance card, uh, representing the energy of Sagittarius, right? So what is this about? This is about divine timing, right? Divine timing, this is about trusting. This is about being patient, right? Being patient as we're waiting for a cup of water to be poured on the cup of fire, right? It should put the fire out, but instead it creates this beautiful rainbow. So it's a, it's a combination of action energy mixed with 
love, unconditional love, emotion and feeling. She's surrounded by butterflies representing a divine beginning, rebirth. So you're being reminded, right? You or the other person being reminded possibly because of what you're unable, refusing to see. Maybe it's just taking too much time. You're feeling a little bit impatient or because it's taking time, you want to see things be a certain way. So you could be putting some restrictions on yourself on the way things must be, either you or the other person. Uh, but at the end of the day, right, there's manifestation going on here, right? So there is, there's, there's forward movement and it's manifesting towards trying to create, establish abundance, right? And I feel like it's abundance for the relationship and you're being reminded, right, on the choice to make, to trust in divine timing, right? To be patient. Uh, realize that it's Knight of Pentacles energy and the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, but he's slow because he's on a destined path, right? And then we have the confirmation of destiny coming out with the temperance card. Again, if you're feeling restricted, right? Release yourself from those restrictions. And the important thing to note, right? When we're, fit, when we're taking on an energy that makes us uncomfortable, it's important for us to not try to force it out, but rather to just allow it to pass through us, right? But, but, but allow it to pass. Allow it to pass through so that, so that you're able to let, release it, let it go, and move on to some higher vibrating energies. Because when it comes down to making a choice, right? You want to make this choice coming in from a higher vibrating energy. This energy being shown as the temperance card. Divine timing, trusting, being patient. Okay, wow. I really like today's love reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, it, it just felt like it really flowed and, and it told a great story here. So I hope these energies resonate with all of you uh, and that you're able to pull some messages from this reading that help you, right? maybe help you to be patient, to help you to be able to trust, help you to be able to trust in destiny, help you to be able to realize that destiny sometimes takes time. It's a slow moving energy because it's destined, right? And destiny happens when there's perfect balance, right? Perfect balance between two people. And here I see two people working on their balance right here. So thank you very much for joining me with today's Tarot Love Reading. Uh, I look forward to reading your comments. Uh, I appreciate the likes, the subscribes, the shares. I also wanted to let you guys know I'm, I have five openings coming up this week for the live readings or the recorded personal readings. So if you'd like to book a personal tarot reading where I can either send you your own private link or we can schedule a live reading where I'm looking at you, you're looking at me and you were able to interact and ask questions back and forth. So sometimes those readings can be a, a lot more valuable. Anyways, there's details in terms of the different types of readings that I have in the description below. Uh, if you're interested, send me an email. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for all the love and the support that you guys provide me here on this channel. I couldn't do it without all of you. Okay, it's a beautiful Sunday. Wishing you all an amazing day today. Thanks again for letting me share.